everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting a new LP which is called Fostered and it is basically about a little girl, um, this little girl in fact, Bailey, um, and she lives in a foster home with a caretaker that absolutely despises her and some other children. One of the children hate her as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to tell you, ooh, I'm just going to tell you a bit about this LP. I'm really excited. I came up with it on a whim. Um, and I just thought that it'd be fun. I wanted to do it like as a current household, like my own, like my own, you know, personal let's, not let's play, you know what I mean? Just playing it on my own without recording it. Um, but I thought it'd be actually quite nice to record and like, I don't know, I think other people might be interested in this sort of thing. So. Here we have loads of different children. We will start with Gloria Maple. Oh, unrendered there. She looks like a horrid caretaker. <laughs> she is just sitting back. Oh, let's sort this out a minute. She is just laying back on her pool lounger, just looking like a badass. So she has no sense of humour, she's a technophobe, a snob, she's grumpy, and she is terribly mean-spirited. So yeah, this is Gloria Maple, she is the caretaker, she absolutely hates little Bailey Martell, who is the focus of this LP. Um, she likes all of the other children, but she hates Bailey, and this is because she just has something against the perfect, beautiful little girl. Um, so she makes her do all of the washing up, all the cleaning and such. It's sort of like a Cinderella scenario, but poor little Bailey has to do all of her dirty work basically. And this is Gloria's pool and ain't none of the kids allowed in Gloria's pool. She will yell at them, she will ground them. She is not having any of the children in her pool. This is for her own pleasure only. Okay, so the oldest child in this foster home is little Miss Popular Girl, Whitney, oh, Whitney Wolf. Um, you can't really get a good picture of her face. She's actually like, there we go. She is beautiful. She is, she loves to swim, she's excitable, she's charismatic and ambitious and yeah, she's just your popular girl. All of the kids in this foster home like her except for Curtis who we'll get to in a minute. Next we have Dustin Wilcox who is on the swing. He is such a sweetheart, he's sort of nerdy um, but he's a slob, a night owl and he's hot headed. Yeah. He's a bit angry. I think he also doesn't like, yeah, he also doesn't like Curtis. Curtis is like hated by all the children, but then again, Curtis hates all of the other children as well. Um, Curtis tends to pick on Dustin, so that's why Dustin's hot headed. He does not like Curtis at all. Moving on to the devil himself, Curtis. Look at him looking all sweet and innocent. He's plotting to push little Renee off of the <laughs> off of the seesaw. He is athletic, mean spirited, and a total diva. Um yeah, he's the mean kid. None of the children like him at all, except for Miss Gloria Maple over there. So yeah, he's he's the mean kid. Um we'll do Bailey last. Here we have Renee. She is such a sweetheart. She's brave. She's a vegetarian and she loves the heat. Yeah, she's, she's lovely. She's currently on the seesaw with Curtis. So I hope she's all right. <laughs> I hope he doesn't like her or whatever. And the youngest member of this foster home is little Robbie Geiger. He is absolutely adorable. He's absent-minded and loves the outdoors. But yeah, he's just such a sweetheart and he, I'm pretty sure he has purple eyes. Yeah, look at those eyes. <laughs> he's gorgeous. Anyway, and that brings us to Bailey Martell who has her eyes closed. Oh, there we go. Um, Bailey is a loner, genius and clumsy. She's a loner because she feels left out that Gloria is like Gloria only hates her. So she's not a loner because she likes spending time on her own. She's a loner because she's 
forced to like she's isolated basically she's a genius and she's also clumsy so she's a very clever little girl but ooh, she's a very clever little girl but sometimes like her clumsiness gets in the way and gets her into trouble <laughs> so yeah this LP as I've said numerous amount of times you're probably sick of me saying it is focused on little Bailey Martell um, her parents live in this town they are Ken and Shannon Martell Ken absolutely dislikes children but Shannon is nurturing and um, Ken basically convinced Shannon not to have uh, Bailey and that's why she's in the foster home she obviously wanted to have her child but um, she's a hopeless romantic and she's a bit of a coward so Ken basically had control over her and said I do not want this child we are putting her in a foster home basically which is so so sad because Bailey's such a sweet little girl but she's lived her entire life in this little foster home so yeah this is Bailey's bedroom all the kids have basic bedrooms they don't have any toys in their room except for um what's his name Robbie <laughs> except for Robbie he has this little toy um so this is Robbie's room this is uh Dustin's room this is Curtis's room this is Whitney's room this is Renee's room and obviously Bailey's room but yeah all of the kids have to share two bathrooms there's a bathroom here and a bathroom downstairs in here if it gets too much then I'll probably put a bathroom in this um what's the name Gloria's it's gonna take so much for me to remember all their room all of their names but yeah this is Gloria's room she likes red mainly because red is like sort of an evil color it's not evil color but it it's associated with evil things <laughs> so she has a red room because she's nasty and basically little miss Bailey um, her goal is to obviously she can't as a child but she wants to get the F out of this foster home um, so she's gonna be making money with a lemonade stand and all that stuff and then when she's a teenager she's going to find a hobby try and make money try and get out of this place maybe she'll get fostered we don't even know but yeah this is just a foster home we've got a little dining room here it's all very brown and dingy because it's supposed to um represent like the brownness is supposed to represent like not ideal sort of not homely at all i don't know i don't know i just went for brown theme <laughs> uh yeah this is kitchen living room is over here so yeah and obviously there's these washing dryers and such for poor little Bailey to do all of her work so we're just going to jump straight into the gameplay um yeah so whew, we are going to so Bailey's best friend like she she likes all other children except for Curtis basically she's going to come out here and you know oh okay we've got a llama coming to our door Let's like get rid of this. Nobody needs that. Uh, money isn't really an object in this household, but I am going to be. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was loud. I am going to be keeping track of the money that Bailey makes as well. So yeah, she's going to come and read something apparently. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody was like knocking at my door, but I went and purchased a lemonade stand. So I'm going to have. Oh, uh, she needs to like go shopping, doesn't she? Meh. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, she's going to be a red roaring T Rex. We need to make some money for Bailey, so. We need to somehow like sneak out of the house without Gloria noticing. She's currently talking to the mascot so we need to like sneak out of the house because the children aren't allowed out of the house we need to like collect something or whatever make some money maybe go pick some flowers at the festival oh oh my goodness what is going on my people rendering is not going very well apparently okay so we need to get we need to make sure gloria like 
is out, not out the front of the house so we can escape. Okay, so we are going to have her best friend try and call her over if we can. Can we like call her over? I'm not seeing call over. <laughs> okay, maybe she went, oh, the mascot's going away. Maybe Gloria will go do something. <gasps> She's going, what's she doing? She's going to argue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's going to head out back in that case, so we are going to hold on, let go change into your everyday. Change outfit every day. Go. Go quick. While she's distracted. Play in the treehouse. Give gift to Dustin. Give gift to Renee. Okay. And then once she's out, we need to sneak out of the house. So I just want to show you the town real quick. We are in Appaloosa Plains. I didn't mention that because I'm a noob. I basically took out all of the pet stuff. So like the, um, the pet parks, the, like, what's it called? The equestrian center and all that stuff. Just because like, I don't know, we don't really need that stuff. <laughs> and Appaloosa Plains is like the least laggy world. So, I chose a Palooza Plains. Uh, we also, I put down a pool and I made this kitty park, which is terrible. It doesn't even have a name. Uh, Renee's parents, where do they live? I can't, I think they live here. Yeah, they live in this house by here. There's actually Renee's mum, Shannon. Our entire goal for the LP is to basically stay away from her family. Um, because she knows that if she bumps into her mum, or rather Shannon knows, baby doesn't even know her parents, they're not even in here. Who's this? Oh. Yeah, they're not even in here. She doesn't even know her parents, she doesn't know what they look like or anything like that. But Shannon knows that if she sees her daughter, she will recognise her and she will want to take her home. And... You know, that's not going to end well with Ken because Ken will probably, like, not be happy with her. And little Shannon here, she's a hopeless romantic. She's absolutely in love with Ken, no matter what he thinks about her daughter and all this stuff. But she will not be... He will not be happy if she gets back together, if, he, if she even talks to her child because Ken knows that she will... She will, in the end, ditch him for her child. So, basically, we've got to stay away from her parents <laughs> this entire time. Who knows what Ken will do if Ken sees her. And maybe he won't recognise her, I don't know. But we don't want to find out. So, we need to basically sneak out to the... Is this the festival grounds? I think it is. Okay, I'm not seeing any flowers. <laughs> right. Oh, what's this? <gasps> flowers! Okay, so we're basically going to come out and like sneak out the house and pick some flowers, earn ourselves some money, and then we shall um we shall be able to afford ourselves some fruit and stuff so we can sell lemonade. Okay, let's play and see if she successfully sneaks out of the house without Gloria noticing. Oh, poor Bailey. <laughs> She's so sweet. Okay. Come on, Bailey. You can do it. Where is Gloria right now? <gasps> no, she's coming inside. Quick, quick, run. Run. Okay, I think she would have gotten out of the house in time. I don't know. <laughs> Bailey is a loner, which means solitude and isolation will put her in a good mood. Hover over any trait in the Somology panel to see the benefits. Okay. Oh, she has a bike. I don't know where she got that from. She just, like, stole it. <gasps> Horsey. Here we go. She's going down to the festival grounds to pick her flowers. <laughs> we are lagging a little bit beautiful okay let's pick these daisies I don't think you get a lot for daisies 
Oh, I guess he's gonna have to uh, turn off story uh, the notifications for story progression. <gasps> Flowers over here. We have a sweet William and an azalea. Cool. Any more flowers around? I know there's like spawning points here for flowers and here as well. Oh my goodness, stop. I'll turn those off when we get back to the house. Okay. Picking these flowers. I'm not seeing any more around. I think there's a spawning point over here for them. I'm not entirely sure. Right over here. We can dumpster dive? No, we can't. It's apparently not a dumpster that we can dive in. Um, any more over here? No, I think that's. Oh! No, it was a shadow. <laughs> I think that's it for. Uh, who are you playing chess with there, Gavin? Oh no, he's not playing chess. He's just chilling out. Yeah, I don't think there's any more flowers on this lot, but that's absolutely fine. We can probably buy a couple lemons with what we've got. Okay, so let's sell these and then I can write down how much money we've made. So that's 10 simoleons. Oh, 210. Oh goodness, this is where my math like fails. So we've got 210. Plus 75, that's 285, okay. <laughs> 285 simoleons. There we go. Right, so actually. Okay, sweetheart, let's go out to the grocery store, which is by here. Okay, I really need to turn that off. Grocery store, shop for groceries. While she's on at her way, I'll turn off story progression notifications, so if we don't get those wrong one. <laughs> so we don't get those annoying little notifications. Um we'll do blood actually so we can see her parents, like how her parents are doing and stuff. But if that gets annoying too then we shan't continue with those notifications. Okay. Let's go Chocomo. So we're heading to the grocery store to get some fruit so we can sell some lemonade so she can earn some money. Because that's basically what this entire LP is going to be. Earning, she's saving up money in hopes to buy a house but little dish, like her little naive mind is not aware of how much living in the real world costs so at the moment she's just like collecting all of her money in a piggy bank. And I mean, 285 simoleons is quite a lot for a kid to have. Like, that's a lot of money. <sighs> okay. Oh. Windmill getting in my way. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, lemons. I don't know if we necessarily have to get just lemons, but... Can get a lime, make limeade. There isn't even lemons. There isn't even lemons. Okay, so we can make apple lemonade, like tango. <laughs> Let's get a couple of those. Uh, we can make limeade. Let's get a couple of those. We don't have strawberries or anything? Grapes, let's get a couple of those. I think that'll be fine. So we have to minus 104. One, zero, four. Which makes, <laughs> you guys, if you know me, you know that I can't do math. So five minus four is one. Eight minus zero is eight. Two minus one is one. So she has 181 simoleons left. You guys are probably just sitting there like, duh, <laughs> like how long did it take you to wait that out? Okay, we can now head home and hope that Gloria isn't going to catch us because that will suck. She will get us doing even more chores than we have right now. Okay, 
So as my main focus is Bailey, I'm not really going to be playing the other children too much um, unless I really need to. Same with Gloria as well. I'll probably only instruct her to take care of Robbie every now and again and to make food obviously because the food has to come out of her household funds. Not like I mean obviously our household funds are the same but I don't want um, Bailey to have to make food and it come out of her money you know. Okay, this bike does not like it has round wheels. It's like, <laughs> must be a very bumpy ride. Okay, where is Gloria? I think she's out back. <gasps> Who is in the pool? <gasps> Curtis is gonna get yelled at. Oh, Shannon just got a new job. So this is um, Bailey's mum. She is now a chef. That's pretty cool. Where is Gloria? Oh, she's right there. And she's about to walk into the house. Okay, Gloria, you need to tell off Curtis anyway. You need to... Okay, well, he needs to freaking get the heck out of this pool right now. <laughs> and then Gloria needs to shout at him. What is he even swimming in? Oh, a wetsuit. You need to... Mean... Argue. <laughs> mean patronize there we go okay so no you're not allowed in your room get out of there we are going to stock this lemonade stand with all the like five simoleons <laughs> so sweet going to stock our lemonade stand you are going to get in trouble if Gloria spots you in that bedroom come on out Okay, Gloria needs to make food of some sort. Her and Curtis are not going to be friends for that much longer. Uh, have, no, serve dinner. She's going to serve some hot dogs for all the children. Oh, poor little Robbie. He needs changing. Change dirty diaper. There we go. Okay, so she's now to stocked it, not talked it. Don't know what the heck I'm on about. And now she's tending her stand. So let's see if anybody comes by to buy her lemonade. <laughs> she's so sweet. Look at her standing here. Yeah, she's got not got the most prettiest clothes because obviously she's disliked the most. So she has this like tatty little t-shirt on. Yeah, I think it's cute. <gasps> Come buy my lemonade. Oh, little Robbie's crying. <gasps> oh, I love it. She's so upset. She's like, nobody's buying my lemonade. Aww, well, hot dogs are ready now, sweetheart. Go in and eat. She's getting a bit hungry. And she needs to settle down for bed. It looks like nobody's coming to buy her lemonade. <laughs> I'm so sad. Wait, is Gloria coming to buy some? Oh no, she's going up to sweat out Robbie, isn't she? Um, okay, is there any way we can like set the price? No. She can't browse her own store. <laughs> okay, let's go in and grab some hot dogs. Where on earth did she put them? Where did she put the hot dogs? She put them outside anywhere? Like, oh, they're in the living room. Okay, <laughs> let's grab a plate of hot dogs. Let's make sure the other children are gonna eat as well because I don't wanna send them to bed without food in their tummies. Whitney's in the toilet and then she can come and grab a plate as well. Okay, so once she's used the toilet, she can grab a plate. You can come and grab a plate. You can come and grab a plate. And you can come and grab a plate. There we go. Robbie needs to be fed, so you need to feed him. There we go. She wants to become friends with Curtis. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> oh, baby, don't choke. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, these kids are so sweet. Like, I've fallen in love with, like, each and every one of them. Come on, Dustin, eat up. Dustin. Okay. You're gonna have a trouble eating those hot dogs from all the way over the other side of the dining room. Look, just freaking eat these hot dogs. Why can't I click on them now? Eat hot dogs. You. Eat hot dogs. You. <laughs> Eat hot dogs. Why is it so difficult to comprehend? No, you need to do the cleaning up because Gloria doesn't do that stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna... Actually, you can put away the leftovers. <laughs> I'm gonna try and restrain myself from like actually sitting here and dragging all the plates. Because that's poor little Bailey's job to do all that stuff. Okay. I'm probably gonna end the part when they go to bed because we're currently like 25 minutes into the LP. So, Whitney, what are you doing? Carrying Robbie, can you put him to bed? Put him in his crib. And then you can head to bed too. Right, I'm gonna set everybody's bed ownership as well. So this is Whitney's bed. This is Dustin's bed. This is Curtis's bed. Where are you heading? She's like, no, you're not checking for monsters. Why didn't you eat anything? Look, come and eat your hot dogs. And then you can go to sleep. Curtis can go to sleep. Oh, he's actually helping um, Bailey. Become the emperor of evil. I'm sorry, I have to lock that in. That is so accurate for Dustin. Up oh, for Curtis, not Dustin. Okay, he can head to sleep after... Uh, who am I missing? Who haven't you sent to bed? Okay. Perfect. I'm sorry, you can pee real quick. And then clean the toilet. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then she can go ahead and like clean up everybody else's plates. I'm gonna set her bed ownership as well. Okay. I know, you're sitting on a dirty toilet, it's okay. Okay. Oh, Gloria's actually doing the cleaning up. Have you not eaten? Oh my goodness. Come and eat this hot dog. <laughs> I don't know why, she's not eating. She can't get to it apparently. Okay, well, come and eat it by here. Okay, she looks like she can get to it now. Okay, and then you can head to bed. And then you can head to bed after you be in. And wait, where are you heading? No, 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 that's not your job. <laughs> you need to go to sleep. Okay, so little Bailey is heading up to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this part and let me know what you think about this LP. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see how Bailey like you know, how she lives her own life, how she, you know, gets all the money she needs to move out, if she even does, if she'll be fostered in the end and all this stuff. I just, I'm just so excited and I hope you guys are too. Okay, so for some reason my outro didn't record so I just wanted to quickly say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this first part and I will see you guys in my next part. Bye everyone!